everyone. Welcome to my channel. I'm Josie. Today I'm doing, um, I thought really hard about doing this um, video and this is on my Josie Cares channel and you know it's my serious channel. I've done a lot of research on what parents shouldn't say about their spouse and most of the research I found was based on divorced couples. But this happens in with married couples. And I'm going to be talking a lot today about my own life. And this is why I did this research because I've heard people talk so negative about their spouse and yet they say they're in love with them. You can have disagreements with your spouse, and that's, that's a normal part of life. But don't involve your children. Don't make your children um, make choices, which one they love more. That, that's a really unfair thing. And before I start talking about how I feel about all this, I was wanted to read a few things that I found. And one of the comments too was, remember when you were growing up, you thought your parents knew everything. You thought they had the answers to everything. So your children are gonna look at you as an example. And even in the worst situations, um, your children love you and they shouldn't be forced to take sides. Like I said, arguments in a marriage, that's normal. Although I actually had two marriages. Um, and by the way, my husband died of, of cancer, but we never had an argument. So that's possible. Doesn't happen very often. Um, but I was thinking back when I was doing this research and what made me decide to do this, it's just people you know or what you read on Facebook or any, any um, social media or even hear people when you're uh, out and about shopping, the negativity that you hear, it just blows my mind really. And so I got to thinking about my parents. <laughs> and I'm not doing this video, don't get me wrong, for sympathy or that I live in the past because I don't. I just got to thinking, would this help someone? And this is the main purpose for this channel. And by the way, I don't pretend to be a, a professional therapist, and if you need professional help, please seek help. Um, but I want to use for an example, um, not that you can't be realistic with your children, but don't get them so involved in your money problems that they stress about it. That was one thing my parents did to me. As a kid, I worried, are we going to have a home to live in? Um, are they going to pay the bills? Children don't, especially little kids, they don't need to worry about things like that. And if you're mad at your wife or your husband, you may feel down and, and that's kind of normal but don't bad mouth your spouse to your kids. You make them feel like they have to take sides. And, and I'm sure I'm gonna get some criticism about this video. But like I said, my channel is, if I help one person, I feel like I've accomplished something with this channel. And this is my second channel. I don't plan on it growing and getting monetized or anything. It's just um, a channel that if you have a particular subject you want me to research and, and talk about, I will. And I've had people actually do that. So I'm gonna 
start with my parents. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, my parents were totally opposite, and I know they say opposites attract, but my dad was a cowboy, a farmer. Um, my mother was raised in a large family, but she was the only girl in an Italian family, and she was like a prima donna. Um, she thought she should always be wealthy, and she was not. I come from a very poor family. But poor, I should say, it's okay to be poor if you have love. And I know you might disagree with that. A lot of poor families have wonderful relationships. But my mother hated the fact that she was poor. And she had no interest in my dad's um, um, farming or riding horses. She had, and, and we lived on a ranch, but she had no interest in any of that. But as a very small child, I remember my mother talking very vicious about my dad. And by the way, he was born with one eye. And he functioned just as well as you and I. He drove until the last year of his life. He farmed, he roped, he was a cowboy. He functioned well. He never knew what it was like to have two eyes. But my mother threw it up to his face, which I heard that as a child. Um, she made me fear my father. She made me dislike my father. And I'll tell you something, my father never hit me. He never laid a hand on me. And yet, she had manipulated me as a small child that he was a very mean man. And I can remember they fighting every day about the dumbest things over relatives and things that, you know, really don't matter. You're not going to like all your relatives. I don't care who you marry. You're not going to like all your relatives. And when I think back, when my mother died, I'll have to be really honest. I didn't grieve for her. I grieved for my dad because my mother spoiled my relationship with my dad. Um, makes me very sad to think of that. And that's why I decided to do this video. I don't care if you're a woman or a man, and I don't care what problem you have with your spouse, don't influence your children the worst thing you can do. They don't deserve to have to choose between one parent or the other. They have the right to love both of you and children, especially little kids, they're so, they're influenced so easily. They don't know, you know, and um, my mother broke the trust that she even had with me, when she was mad at my father, she would talk to me and, you know, we'd do girl talk is what I thought. And then when she made up with my father, she would tell him everything I said. And that's when I stopped the communication. And I think I was a sophomore in high school. So if you want to keep the communication open with your children, don't make them distrust you. There are certain things, yes, especially things that might endanger their life. There are certain things you should tell each other. But when a daughter and a mother talk or when a son and uh, a dad talk and their girl talk, boy talk, don't break the trust. Um, I think it's terrible. And you know, um, 
None of us are perfect. If you're mad at your spouse, fight in private. I mean, if you're having an argument, don't argue in front of your kids. They don't need to hear that. Some of them grow up and think um, they don't want to be married. And that's what we were put on this earth for, husband and wife being married, having a family, a family unit. So, and there was something I read that I thought, I was surprised, but there was a statement that um, in the research I did about, don't tell your children your self-doubts, like you doubt yourself. They want to know their parents are confident. They go to you for advice, at least they should. If you build up that communication line, they will go to you and, and ask you questions. If something's really bothering them or say somebody is, how should I say this? Somebody's um, attempting something they shouldn't attempt to your child. If you have that communication open, your child will come and talk to you about it. Um, you may not always like to hear what your, what your children have to say, but keep that communication open. It can save their life. Um, like I said, I, my dad died in 1993 and I never really grieved for him until my mother died about six years ago. She was 98. And when she died, I thought about all the things that she had said and did and how wrong my dad was. He was uneducated. He, uh, back then a lot of, um, Children, especially farm children, had to quit school. I think he went to the fourth grade. But you know, he used to, he bought a newspaper every day and he, he taught himself to read. He could read a little bit. And um, he tried really, really hard. But he had to qu uh, quit school and help support his mom. And worked in the fields and worked very, very hard. So, like I said, I don't usually, uh, you know, I've spilled my guts before in different videos, but maybe not this much as far as I try not to talk just personal about myself. But I was kind of disillusioned and when I did the research, they basically talked a lot about divorced couples and, and how, you know, one parent talks bad about the other especially when there's visitation rights and all that. And, you know, force children to take sides. But they didn't talk about married couples that actually um, pretty much harm their children because of their negativity. Um, they're mad at each other. Or they don't, there had to be something about that spouse that you fell in love with to begin with. And yes, and I, and I was divorced, so I know things happen. But the one thing I can say about my life, I never talked negative about my ex-husband, the father of my children. So I hope you think about this. If you're in that position, you can change your ways. If your, your ex can be a horrible person, I know, or that person could be a really good person, but there was just conflict that, you know, was uncontrollable and you couldn't get along. I understand that. Been through that. But don't get your children involved. Just let those 
beautiful little kids or adult kids love each parent to the fullest and you will never have regrets especially as you get older so i will cut this short if you have any um questions please ask in the comment section um if you don't like my content that's fine if you do thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down um i'm okay with that um if you leave me a really nasty remark i will delete it and i will block you um i only do these hoping that maybe somebody um got a little help in understanding that there's other people out there that um, maybe have gone through the same problem. And I have to say with this channel, I don't do a video very often because I take each video very serious. But I have had some really good comments about uh, helping people through uh, losing a spouse through death and um, and some other subjects. So this is what keeps me going on this channel. It, I may do a video once a month, every two months, three months, whatever. Um, also, in the comment section, if you have a subject that I have not covered or that you would like me to um, do more information on a particular subject that I already have, or even a new subject Please leave the comments below and uh, I will see what I can do. And like I said, before I do these videos, I always do research. Uh, I don't want it just based on my opinion. Now this one, the majority of it is my opinion for the reason. I wanted to just talk about the negativity in a marriage, not including divorce. People that have stayed together and who have made their children choose between one of them. So take care, God bless, and talk to you soon. Bye, everyone.